This is the C414 cardioid condenser mic from Proar, or Proar, I don't know. This is the raw sound quality with no processing plugged in my interface going to my Mac, recording into Audacity. And this is the sound quality through OBS using the built-in noise suppression compressor and limiter all at default settings. I received this microphone for free to review, however my opinion on it is based purely on my own experience using it. These are the specs. I know, boring, but at least they list them, and they're really good, so here you go. The sound quality here speaks for itself, and I think that this brand is something worth talking about. The monetary barrier to entry you would normally see with a mic like this is usually much higher. In my opinion, the sound quality on this mic is disgustingly good for the price they are asking for. Not only does it sound good, it looks good too. The front is this very nice, neutral, matte gray and black. And then from the performer or the recorder's perspective, you get this really pretty gold-plated windscreen. <laughs> this microphone is like a work of art. And this thing is heavy too. It's a hefty weight. It's not made of cheap plastic. This thing is solid metal. I think that the overall look and feel of this mic is a testament to just how polished of a product it is. And as an example, this is what it sounds like whenever I am about one inch away from the mic with the gain turned almost all the way down, getting the best possible sound quality for a voice. Now I'm not a voice actor, so I obviously don't sound that good, but if you are a voice actor or pursuing voice acting, or if you want to use this mic for instrument recording, then it's going to suit you equally well. You are seriously not going to find much better than this until you double or triple the asking price. This mic is so good, I feel bad they even sent it to me. I feel like I'm not allowed to have this. Now it does pick up a good amount of room tone, which I like. If you have the gain turned up a little bit too high, it will also be picking up outside sounds if you don't have a completely soundproofed room. Not sound treated, soundproofed. Case in point, there's a car going by and you can hear it. Usually the manual for a piece of gear at this entry point is completely useless, but these guys have actually gone and made an incredibly useful four page booklet of genuine information. So if this is maybe your first microphone you've ever used, or if you're just getting into caring about your audio, then I would actually recommend reading all the pages here because you're gonna get some really good information. It talks about things like how sound waves interact with the diaphragm of the mic and why the position of your mouth matters. It even has a frequency response graph, which is something that you usually don't even see on these lower end mics. As far as handling noise goes, it's pretty great. That's as bad as it gets. It does not come with a windscreen. However, you don't need one because it comes with one of the coolest custom pop filters I've ever seen. They made a custom windscreen out of this spongy material that works really, really well, meaning that you don't have to put a windscreen on this thing. So you get to enjoy the really cool design of the mic without sacrificing sound quality in any way. Especially if you are positioning yourself correctly with the mic and you know how to handle certain syllables to avoid peaking in the microphone. That way you don't get blown out A's, B's, P's, and S's. Pair all of that with a little bit of noise suppression, a de -er, a subtle EQ, and a limiter. And mind you, all of those filters need to be minimal. You do not need to put in that much work to make this thing sound good, which is a lot more than you can say about other mics on Amazon. So overall, Proar or p -Roar, seriously, small name audio companies, we've got to talk about your naming. Proar slash p -Roar has actually blown me away by the quality of this product. It's not something that I was expecting. The last time I purchased a microphone that was even close to this quality, it cost a lot more than this one does. So if you are going to be using this for a podcast, to perform voiceover work, for instrument recording, or for singing, this is going to be a very, very good investment for you, and you'll be able to hang on to this until your next major audio upgrade. So yeah, I'm really stoked that I got to review this, and to be honest, you're going to be hearing this mic in almost every video from now on.